Hey guys, it's me, Tiffany, and I am back with another tutorial. Today, I am making grape leaves. If you've never had them before, you're going to love them. Stay tuned. First, you're going to soak your leaves and get all of the brine off of them, even if you use them from a jar. The ones that I'm using today are grape leaves out of a jar, but you still have to soak them in uh, water and make sure that they get soaked for about 20 minutes. Um, my hands are already washed because I've already washed them. Um, next, you're going to soak your rice also for 20 minutes while you've got it, um, your leaves soaking. Because while your leaves are soaking, you're gonna make your stuffing um, for the inside. your rice and your leaves are soaking, you're gonna brown your meat in one pan and you're going to chop up um, onion very fine, very fine and once you chop it up fine you're gonna saute it and then you're gonna add it to your hamburger once your hamburger is browned and you have added your sauteed onions into it you're gonna put some allspice and you're gonna put some cumin and you're gonna put some salt and pepper into your hamburger Are the onions sauteing is the hamburger frying up. Let me just say normally um, I used to have a grape leaf tree in my backyard and my family would just go pick them from the trees and that's how we would use our grape leaves. Um, but uh, today I just got them in the jar as you know but uh, old Greek families they pick them from the trees. Your hamburger is done. Drain it off like I did here and then add your sauteed onions in it and we're gonna mix it up. Once you drain off your meat um, and add the finely chopped onions that were sauteed, you're going to drain any excess fat. Um, you seasoned your meat with the kosher salt and pepper, the allspice and the cumin. And then we're gonna cut up a lemon over here like we did and set it to the side. We're going to combine the meat with your rice and the fresh herbs and add a generous drizzle of extra virgin olive oil and then you're going to toss it and combine it and add a pinch of kosher salt. I all of my ingredients and now I'm going to use extra extra virgin olive oil from Gia Russa. Make sure before you combine your rice and your meat and uh, all of your um, herbs over here and your olive oil make sure before you combine everything that your meat has cooled off first okay, next I've combined my meat my rice I'm gonna go ahead and put some parsley flakes in And then I'm going to put in some of the peppermint. Next, I'm going to put in some of the dill weed. And here's some of the dill weed. Little bit of extra virgin olive oil. There we go. And then Once you've mixed it up, we're going to get ready to go ahead and fill our grape leaves. First, we're going okay, to... Okay, to start, we're going to put... Um, I like to prepare the pot, the cooking pot first, so that I can arrange the grape leaves as I stuff them. So I'm going to lightly oil the pot with some extra virgin olive oil. Um, move it around a little bit. And... Lightly, um, after oiling the pot, I'm going to start adding a few layers of grape leaves and then I'm going to top it with sliced tomatoes. Once so I've lined my pot and put sliced tomatoes on top of this, 
right here. Then I'm going to um, start filling my leaves. Uh, this protects the stuffed grape leaves from touching the bottom of the pot from scorching. So that's why I put these tomatoes in here. I might add another one over here and over here. But um, yeah, that's what this protects. So I'm going to start filling my grape leaves. Okay, next I'm going to lay my leaves on a cutting board and stretch them out. Now all the leaves are not going to be the same size. You'll have some small ones. You'll have some larger ones. But um, that's okay. They're not all going to be the same size. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to lay the leaf flat on a cutting board and cut off the stem if you have stems on them, which these do not have stems on them. And then you're going to take a heaping teaspoon of the rice stuffing mixture, like a little bit less than one tablespoon, and you'll place it in the center of the leaf close to where the stem was. Now, you want to place your leaf with the more textured side facing you. So, there's this side, and then there's this side. As you can see on here, the more textured side is going to be this side, where you can actually feel right there, okay? So if that helps you out, you can see this side and see this side. This is the more textured side. So you want that facing yourself, okay? Then we're going to get a teaspoon um, of the rice stuffing mixture, and we're going to put it inside. About how much you want to put in there. And then you're going to fold it over fold it over you're going to be keep tucking the left and right sides as you roll it like think of as if you're rolling spring rolls or like cigars or something like that um, just keep tucking the left and right sides as you roll okay and after you fold and roll the grape leaves tightly enough but not too tight so the rice has room to expand when it cooks then you're going to arrange them in rows inside of your pot, the seam side down, okay, in your uh, prepared pot. And I'm going to show you how I do one just like this. This is a bigger leaf, so I'm going to add just a little extra. And then you fold the back of the leaf like that. Take the side and go over. Take the side and go over. And you're going to roll it, not too tight, and just keep tucking the right and the left sides in and just roll, roll, roll. And there you go. Here's the pot completely lined in full. And then four cups of water that I'm going to pour into here. And it's going to barely cover them. And then I'm going to stick a plate inverted on top. And this helps keep them in place while they're cooking. I'm gonna boil the water, or you can use broth, I use water and pour it over the grape leaves like I just did and then it's about four cups of liquid maybe a little more like I said um, so once I cover it with the plate so I covered mine with a dish um, if you have one that's a little bigger that fits exactly in there that's fine I don't so I use a little smaller one and that's okay too just as long as you have something on top that's heavy that holds them in place while they're cooking Next we're going to cook these over a medium heat for 30 minutes until the liquid has been absorbed when you uncover them you'll remove the plate and pour the juice of two lemons on top and then you'll cover it again with the lid um, you don't need a plate. You'll just put the lid on after you take the plate out. Uh, there's really no need for a plate after they're cooked. And then you'll cook them on low heat for 30 to 45 more minutes or until they're fully cooked. And then once they're done, then I'll show you the end product. Okay, it's been 30 minutes, so now I'm going to take the plate now out. I took out the plate. I'm going to put 
two lemons, fresh squeezed lemons into my pot. And 30 minutes later, here you go, all done. Don't they look delicious? And that's how you make grape leaves. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to our channel, TCG Fam on YouTube, and share, share, share. Sharing means caring. Let everyone know what the TCG Fam is doing. Try them out, see how you do. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Bye.